So here is a close-up of my uh, universal joint that I've uh, put in there, which is basically a um, socket set uh, universal joint, which is uh, 3 8 And uh, so I cut my bar and made a square uh, end and uh, slipped it on and uh, had it welded as well. So, and then below there, uh, is also um, basically I drilled a hole in the center of the shaft and uh, made the uh, male part of that universal joint round as well and pushed it in there, pressed it in there and it's also welded. So I made a small modification here basically I had to cut the uh, length of this shaft that was supporting this weight here because it was going out a lot further and I knew what would happen uh, with this uh, whole thing leading over now with the universal joint basically it would start hitting the edges and I even had to put a, a strapping there across to hold the weight so um, that's another modification so basically I took off two inches here and I made a modification up on top here I added uh, two inches here in case I need to move this around uh, this top uh, pillow block bearing. But now if you look, uh, you can see if I hold this up here, uh, I could swing that bottom weight around and uh, there is no... Uh, so this, is, this extra stock here I'm going to cut off eventually, uh, just leaving it there just so once I find the right combination. Uh, but now, like I say, as you can see, the uh, two pieces are free to uh, move around and uh, works very well. So what I'll do right now is I will start it up and you could see the uh, action. So I'm slowly raising the voltage here of my Variac. And I'm going to raise it to uh, up to 15 volts range. So there it is uh, turning in a circle at this time, but we'll do a modification and have it uh, turning in uh, elliptical uh, mode. So an elliptical orbit. And uh, right now the generator is not under load. And if we look at our uh, meters here, we're uh, around the uh, upper end of 15 volts, close to 16 volts at about 400 uh, milliamps in average. And now we'll connect our loaded our bulb. And there is the bulb that is somewhat lit. And you can tell the RPM has dropped, and uh, there is uh, the data there. So obviously the current is more, and the, uh, at this time the load is being reflected back to the prime mover. But possibly with the next modification of the elliptical uh, orbit of that uh, would possibly uh, eliminate that. Now, here, if I just, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stop the uh, shaft. And here, you can see that the upper is uh, free to turn, and it has no uh, effect. So, that uh, doesn't require uh, another bearing. Uh, light is being discussed on the thread to put a bearing uh, here for this uh, upper lever. No bearing is needed. As you can see, everything can be fully stopped here. I can push that back easily. And uh, there you go. And if you look at our current, uh, it's very minimal. It's not using very much because whatever's going up and down, uh, you know, so there you go. 
So this is uh, this demo now, and the next modification will be obviously the elliptical uh, orbit at the top there on the lever to see uh, if that is the uh, the uh, best uh, scenario. Thanks. Bye.